Hello there, my fellow notebook aficionados. Framework is back in the studio, and while we are all waiting for their 16-inch version to finally hit the market, it is time for the AMD update of their bread and butter 13-incher we reviewed a few months back. But Framework wouldn't be Framework if they had just shipped us a complete laptop, but instead they sent over their upgrade kit. So we will do something today that you cannot do with any other notebook on the market right now. Change your entire CPU platform and turn one laptop into two functional machines. So let's see if we all need a notebook engineering degree in the future, if the AMD version of the framework is any good and how much sense it really makes to reuse your old laptop mainboard as a mini PC. It seems like we have a lot to talk about. The entirely new mainboard from the folks in San Francisco comes already fitted with the Ryzen 7 7840U. 16GB of DDR5-5600 RAM, a new Wi-Fi card and a 1TB Western Digital SSD. Without storage, this config will run you about 900 euros or 800 dollars on their website. So let's start with putting all of this in our framework 13. As with almost everything you can do with the sleek 13 incher this process is very well documented on their website and the upgrades are very straightforward. After opening up the chassis it's basically just removing everything connected to the motherboard. So we are talking the Wi-Fi card, speakers, display and battery. And within a few minutes you are greeted with a lot of empty space to populate with your shiny new AMD mainboard. Then you do the same in reverse and connect everything you unplugged before, add your RAM and storage and you are ready to go. The whole process was painless throughout and while I am someone who likes to tinker with tech and has quite a bit of PC building experience, this should also be pretty easy for someone doing this for the first time. If I had not been filming the upgrade process, swapping the motherboard would have only taken me about 30 minutes. The same holds true for the Cooler Master case to reuse our Intel motherboard. And I really have to give Framework some credit here for thinking about a solution for what to do with the components you take out of your laptop so they don't end up as e-waste. The small case is a housing for the mainboard with the same hot swappable I.O. modules that you could use for all sorts of things. As a mini office PC for your kids or partner, as a streaming machine for your TV or hell even if you just want to sell your parts as a functioning machine. But let's circle back to our Framework 13 for now. Since it's the same chassis and display, please check out our existing review for the Intel version for more information about all of that. I will link it in the description below and up here somewhere. While the port situation is also essentially the same, you can still pick and choose your desired layout and selection on the fly with their super handy modules. USB 4 and Thunderbolt do need some explanation with the AMD machine. While you can outfit your framework with four USB-C cards, they will not behave the same across the board. Only the two rear ports will support the full USB 4 functionality, while the lower left port is 3.2, so data only. And the one on the right is 3.2 Gen 2 with DisplayPort functionality. But let's finally talk about performance. And well, what can I say? The Intel version with the i7-1370p was already one of the fastest notebooks in this form factor. And the same holds true for the Team Redfield upgrade. In our performance rating it is pretty much on par with its Intel counterpart, trading faster multi-core performance for slower single-core results. And you will have a hard time finding a faster small notebook as of right now. System performance, which we measured with PCMark, is also very impressive, showing the Intel-equipped competition where it's at when you can rely on a much faster iGPU in the form of the 780M. The upgrade also results in about 30-50% to better numbers in our 3 Mark rating than the Iris Xe that came with the 1370p, making the AMD framework a much better all-around performer. Some light gaming is not entirely off the table as well, even though we wish that framework would offer some faster displays for a smoother visual experience sometime soon. But the added performance is of course just one side of the equation. So how about fan noise, power consumption and battery life? To begin with, the 13 incher has never been the quietest of all laptops and this holds true for the AMD powered mainboard as well. While it's mostly pretty silent during low load scenarios, more intense workloads will result in audible and pulsing fans. As always we have prepared some noise samples with temperatures and power levels for you and if you want to dive deeper into everything, please head over to our written review on our website.
As a direct result of the lower power consumption, battery life also got a huge boost. Again, while the Intel-based framework was already pretty solid, the 7840U takes the cake once again, with almost 12 hours in our Wi-Fi standard test. Alright folks, it is already about time to wrap this up for today. I must admit, I am a pretty big fan of the whole framework concept and idea. But that said, I can also understand when someone isn't. Not everyone wants to get that deep into their personal tech, and if it's actually that much cheaper to buy a new mainboard and RAM every few years compared to getting a completely new machine, well, that remains to be seen. But given that all the resources and energy that go into producing all of that stuff is not entirely endless, Framework is a company that tries to go a more responsible way with how all of us handle technology, and they are refreshingly transparent about it. With their upcoming 16-inch version, it will also be very exciting to see how well the concept translates to a more performance-oriented machine. And I, for myself, cannot wait to get my hands on that one. But what about the situation today? Well, if you own a 2023 Intel-based framework, I would say the upgrade to the AMD version is not worth the added cost, unless you need the additional GPU performance and can somehow use a second mini-PC with your Intel board. If you, however, own a first or second generation framework, then this is the upgrade to go for. And you will have a very hard time finding a similar, well-performing notebook at the price of the upgrade kit. And if you are looking for your first steps into the company's product portfolio, well, we would say getting the AMD SKU is the way to go, with similar CPU-only performance, much more GPU grunt and longer battery life. But please guys, sound off in the comments below what you think about the AMD framework. And let's talk about the future of modular mobile notebook tech. This should be it for today. Make sure to leave your like if you felt entertained, hit that subscribe button on your way out and consider checking out some of our recent videos for more things tech and laptops. Thanks a ton for watching. My name is Alex, you have been fantastic and I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.